Okay, we're out here at the barn today. We're gonna to go ahead and put in our 200 amp panel. Uh, we got our cable up through the conduit right there. Um, I've got everything that I should need. To, I should be able to juice this tonight. I have to hook it up there. I'm gonna do that last. That's where the hot power is. It's currently off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hooked up, prepped and ready to go. And we might even run a receptacle tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my triplex. This is, uh, I believe this is rated for direct barrier. We got it in conduit. But anyways, I'm gonna be hooking up my neutral to the neutral bar here. And I'm gonna loop it up and around. And then I got the two hots coming in here. And that'll be these conductors right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it prepped and get it ready to go. Put these cables i got them hooked up in here so it doesn't look too bad i gotta get these cables to stay back though yeah they're pretty tight they're very stiff but anyways not too bad got this on here covers up the hot bus this isn't hot yet i'm gonna put some wire ties around that that'll look nice we're pretty much ready to maybe put in a receptacle or something what I got so far I got the power coming in this ain't hot yet I got some wires ran for a double receptacle here <laughs> Isaac what are you doing <laughs> and then I went ahead and ran my ground and I've got to tie that into two ground rods on the outside And here it is, electric is turned on. There's the outlet. Let's look inside here. There you go. It's cleaned up now so you can actually see everything. But there's our electrical panel with the outlet James put in. There's our water and vent pipe. That's where the giant wash basin will be or the wash sink. And then back here's where the bathroom will be with a toilet and a sink. All right, well, we did a little bit of electric work today. We ran some EMT conduit. So I've never done it before. I went to school and I learned about it there, but I had to even buy a uh, EMT conduit bender. So we used that today and I didn't do too bad. I ruined a couple pieces. We can uh, post a link of this on Amazon. This is pretty cheap. Klein, that's a good brand though. So as you can see here, I, I, this was my very first bend. So I'm gonna put my autograph on this. And uh, <laughs> so, but anyways, this comes over here. This is gonna be two switch boxes. We have some switches for a nice lighting. And I wanted to put my lights up first. That way the concrete guys could have some lighting in case they work late. But uh, show them, hon. Show them how straight that is. I'm absolutely amazed. Come on, man. 
obviously I'm biased because it's my husband and I see him work hard all the time and he practically perfects everything he does the first time he does it, but dang, this looks like a professional job. I don't, I can't find a good angle. Yeah, it's over here. Let me go back over on this side. It's kind of hard to see, but it goes up and then it's actually flat there in the middle. And that bend on both sides is just completely symmetrical and perfect. It looks so good. Coming down on this wall over here. Man, it looks good. Let me show you what it looks like on this wall too. So he's got all this. I have no idea what any of that is, but then it comes this way. Look at these bends behind the post. I mean, I don't think they could have been any more perfect. Well, look at that. And then it comes this way. Oh, whatever. A few issues. What is it? A half of a millimeter off in one spot. Anyway, so it goes like this and down the wall. And you can see where he bent it behind every post. Man, it looks good. All the way down to here. We're going to stop here because this is where the wall is going to start for the uh, woodworking shop. So we will tie in some conduit into here eventually. We'll probably go back to some just regular Romex wiring. Um, but I wanted to make this EMT out here being it may not have a finished wall um, or insulation or anything like that. So You can see up here too where you put it in. Is Those it... are going to be the receptacles. Basically, that's where my lights are going to tie into. I got some high bay lights. We will definitely post a link of four of those and amazon as well yeah we put them on in our house the other day they are the brightest lights i have ever seen in my life 200 watt twenty-seven thousand lumens it'll blind you if you look into it they're amazing and for as nice as they are they were pretty inexpensive they were pretty expensive i mean <laughs> compared to what i thought they were going to be i thought they were going to be like 300 a piece i thought they were going to be 300 a piece and i oh, think you got them all for what I 700 told you that just to make the 500 dollars <laughs> i spent sound better <laughs> you were a rat all right, well, that's it for tonight. He did a great job. I love it. Look at that stank face he's giving me. But it really does look good. You did a great job, babe. I'm proud of you. We'll make more progress tomorrow. Let's start putting up a couple pieces more of a conduit, and then we're going to start pulling some wire. And for the record, we are eating our kids' Easter candy right now. <laughs> it's good stuff. Look at this. Mmm. Got it extended. That's what you just put in. Now what are you doing, babe? Uh, basically, I'm gonna what I just put up there. I'm gonna make a couple more of them. So. And we are fishing wires. Look at his little Jimmy rig idea. Scrap piece of lumber, piece of metal, some screws. You set that wire on there, and it easily rolls out. So you can fish it up. <laughs> Babe, why are you fishing four different wires in there? Because uh, I'm running the lights on two different circuits because they're 200 watts each. So that's a lot of watts on one circuit. Plus it leaves room for expansion for when we want to run other lighting. So I'll have two lighting circuits essentially in this building. Okay. Is that hard to shove up there? It's not really hard. I'm just trying to be... So it doesn't... Uh pink oh, okay if i'm just now at that corner that means i may have to pull my fish tape that's why i wanted to just see if i had to or not. so you're gonna fish tape it yeah. he's fishing that blue stuff through there there's the end of his fish tape. I taped it on. Let's go.
It's a little hard to tell in this video, but we are separating the wires as we fish it. So Courtney is taking half of it and stretching it across the barn, and I'm pushing the other half through one part of the bay of lights. So it makes it easier with two people here, and for sure stretching it across the barn so we don't get everything tangled up. All right, what we're gonna do is she's gonna lift me up on the tractor and I'm going to wire in the receptacle, put the plate on it, um, hang the light, plug it in, and then we're just gonna move to the next one. We're gonna do that to all of them until we get the lights hung. And then uh, we'll probably tie, go ahead and tie in receptacles to those other ones just so it's there. And then we'll come in here and tie this into the hot and we'll test the lights out. Okay, and just for reference, these are the lights that we got. You will not believe how bright these are once we plug them in. From Amazon, love these things, and we're going to hang it. Here's what the backside looks like with a chain about that far. I don't know, what is that, six, seven inches? Uh, That one in. Look at this progress. We got five of them in. Good job, babe. We took a quick break. Now he's back at it again. I do know that we're going to get some backlash on us standing in the bucket while it's up in the air, but I did think that that was safer than actually using this ladder here. This ladder was very hard to set up inside this barn. Realistically, we probably should have rented some sort of lift, but we made do, and I felt like we were very safe doing so. James is putting that last light in there, which makes light number eight. There's all the other ones. And then after he gets that last light in, He's got, how many receptacles to put on each side, babe, two? Uh, two more, yeah. I already got those done. Oh, wow, I didn't know that, okay. Yep, I can see it here. So over here, here's the fourth light on this rung. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then two receptacles, there and there. And then he's gotta do the same thing on the other side. Right there and right there. Okay, I finally got it done. Put the receptacles in at the end. We might add some more lights if we think we need it, but uh, got eight lights in here right now. And there's two switches, one for that bay and one for that bay. Wow, that's really bright. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. The video, it doesn't do it any justice at all, babe. It is incredibly bright. Here, turn them off again and then turn them back on. It's insane. Oh, I love it.